Hey YouTube, um, this is a little uh, video we're going to do, um, unboxing of the Unify Switch 8. I got this for my desktop. I probably haven't showed you guys my uh, gaming PC, which this is my old gaming PC. Um, close that out. So pretty much this PC is for my games. Yep, it is a 34 inch IPS display. It is from LG. It is a really good monitor for overall experience. There's a tower. So this gaming PC is almost seven years old. And it's time for an upgrade. Um, I have upgraded a few pieces into it and stuff like that. So kind of want to show you guys the specs. So this video will be more of an unboxing slash a, a walkthrough of my stuff. Um, so yeah, I do have it overclocked at 4.0 gigahertz on air, knocked to a cooler. It's the AMD FX 8120. I think I believe it's the highest FX CPU. I'm not sure. A lot of stuff's been changing, but um, it's decent. It did good justice for a while. Um, I have two SSDs in it, two, one, 256, and then I have 128, which is my older SSD. And I have a terabyte and a 500 gig drive, so kind of a, um, put some parts together when I built this computer and kind of together. <coughs> Sorry. I did upgrade the GPU. <clears throat> I used to have two 1690s. But they were too much, and so I did get a 1070. This 1070 has been, it's been doing pretty good. I'll just show you guys this side. You guys can see. This is the fan stop. It's the EVGA uh, RGB lighting. Tells you if the fan's running or not, stuff like that. So it's doing pretty good. I mean, this computer is already hitting its peak. I have had some issues where uh, this card actually is having issues with uh, PCI. Uh, I believe the motherboard is a two point something, and the new GPU Pascal is a three point one, three point zero maybe PCIe. So I'm getting actually an error during boot up saying the PCI is not found, but once it boots up into Windows, it works flawlessly. Um, so yeah, but I'll show you guys um, my PC. So this is gonna be my um, overall tech channel YouTube as well for my data center stuff, which is on the other side of the house and stuff like that. But um, today I'll show you guys overall stuff. So since I am doing a full blown liquid cooling setup, I am going with uh, EK water blocks. I chose the e EK Syro fuel, Syro fuel. Got two bottles because stuff comes from Slovakia, so it takes them longer. So I got extras. Um, this is just a small portion of the thing. The rest of the liquid cooling is coming, uh, I think, next week because it's just a split shipments and uh, overall. So we got a 400. EK400 reservoir, so as well as I got a pump, which is things a 200, so it's just extra uh, liquid. Got fittings from EK Water Box, all different types of angles. All the hoses are not even here yet, and I am doing the the hard tubing, so I have to do bending and stuff like that. Here we have my Asus Essence STX, and uh, chose this card for. Uh, the headphone amp as well and it has a high fidelity so we will see I am not going to be trying any of these parts out on this build at all whatsoever there's no need for me to open them but um yeah so next on is kind of went overkill got two 1080s some people will say yeah why did you get two ones plenty but what kind of liquid cooling is going to be looking cool enough with one card you know what I mean so I kind of went overboard and uh, since I already opened these cards up, I will show you guys. And these are the Founders Editions. Paper's falling apart. Okay. So we got 
two 1080s, so pretty much I'm gonna have to scrap these parts, the heat sinks and everything, when it all comes in here. But got the stock cooler and the back plate. And this is a uh, six and eight pin setup. So this is kind of requiring a lot of a uh, little power. I think it's 200, approximate 200 watts current impulse for each card. So quite a bit. And yes, there's two of them. So that'll be a fun little setup. On to the next thing. That's the second card. I don't need to open that one. There's the cross crosshair hero motherboard. And nice clean looking motherboard. Um RAM wise, I went with uh the compatible RAM that they do have. Um, some RAM is having issues with Ryzen because it's uh, something to do with the microcode, BIOS. We don't know, they don't know yet, but I went with the G Skill. G Skill is a very well known brand, great quality. Never had issues with G Skill. And yes, this is 64 gigs of RAM. I am maxing out this motherboard, so I have enough uh, overhead. So I'm trying to build building this PC so it lasts at least 10 years. Yes, stuff changes, but I think with two 1080 Ti's and stuff like that, I should be set for a while. Okay, on to the next thing. So got some thermal paste. We got the SLI bridge. Kind of have to have that. These are the hybrid hard drives. They have built in a, a cache for like an SSD, but they are five times faster than the spindle, and they are two terabytes. So I got two of those for storage since I'm gonna be doing some re game recording stuff like that I always like to keep deep storage kind of hard to see that EK water blocks I didn't put it back in the box I went with the highest uh, MVME SSD M.2 uh, only went 500 gigs because I don't think I need any more than 500 for the operating system and some basic applications where the games will be stored on those drives so if you guys haven't heard Ryzen has been coming out with the CPUs, Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 5, and uh, I did purchase the Ryzen 7 uh, 1800X, but now since Ryzen 9 is coming out, I'm not going to open this. I'm going to sell this to someone, if someone's interested, same, same retail price, it's sealed, everything is, as you guys can see is sealed, so I'm not going to touch it. Um, going with the 16 core and 32 threads, it probably will be around 800 hundred dollars but it'll be worth it. Um, since I've already went overkill on CPU, might as well go overkill on G on I mean GPU, go overkill on CPU. Um, power supply, went with the Corsair Titanium 1500 watt modular power supply. Uh, might be overkill, but since I am doing a pretty uh, intense liquid cooling setup, along with the drives and these two GPUs and other accessories. I think I'm probably sitting around a thousand idle. Maybe not an idle, but on a good load. So I think that should do it enough. But other than that, um, this is a little update for you guys that went, like those uh, tech videos and stuff like that. And I've been very busy. My data center is kind of not into pieces anymore. I don't have much servers. Everything is in a real data center. So, but I do have some stuff at home as a playground. But other than that, I will keep posting videos. And I'll be doing a full-blown build video while I'm building this computer. So, I will compile a video of when it's all done. And it will be on the GNET data center website. So, other than that. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, share the videos, and see you guys next time.